Human waste and vandalism. Two things some business owners in South Tulsa say they are being plagued with due to homeless people living in bushes near their buildings. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Nathan Thompson. Shea has the night off. Two business owners say this has been going on near 71st and Lewis for months. New at 10. Fox 23 crime and safety reporter John Acevis joins us live in the newsroom after trying to get answers for those owners. John. Yeah, I went out to the spot yesterday and honestly it was gross. Uh, there was a lot of trash, debris, what appeared to be human waste on the walls outside of the business and it smelled absolutely terrible as well. A couple of business owners tell me that this has been an issue they've been dealing with for quite some time now. First come, first serve, you get the better setup right there. I'm walking and talking with the owner of Video Revolution, Ron Whitmer. That's probably got the crap on there and they wiped their he rents this building near 71st and Lewis and says homeless people coming and staying in these bushes have been a problem for years. We actually caught them coming to our lobby area there, grabbing a, see, here's some crap right there. He's not the only one with issues. Kind of a helpless feeling um, to just sit there and watch this happen over and over and over and nothing can apparently be done. Lauren Johnson was the first person to give me a heads up as to what was going on. It was really by chance. Last week, I walked into her business, Hammond Animal Hospital, after a man broke in weeks prior. As I was there, so were Tulsa police responding to some of those homeless people who were setting up in those bushes. Police appeared to have at least taken one person into custody for trespassing that day. Johnson says those people keep coming back. She gave me multiple videos of people either damaging her property or trespassing. She says she feels helpless. I don't really get to have a say except for when they do affect my property. Ms. Johnson says they've done all kinds of damage to her property, including removing the top of these fence posts where you see there's gaps, but that's not the most frustrating thing. One of the things she sees time and time again is these lights outside of her store knocked over. She says they're coming over here to try and access the electric just to charge their cell phones. Johnson says she wrote a long letter to a city councilor. She sent it to me and I reached out to a few myself and got a hold of District 9 Councilor Jamie Fowler. You need to remove those impediments, those those things that uh, in, entice uh, maybe the back alley of your business or uh, another part of, of of the property and, and make sure that it's it, it's not an a inviting place for them to camp. Fowler says it's something he's keeping his eye on. No one is a uh, child of a lesser God. And, uh, you know, they sh need to be treated with dignity. But you know what? Uh, you know, business owners and citizens, we have rights also. I also spoke to the owner of the shopping center where the bushes are. He told me over the phone, cutting them down isn't the first option, but he says he will monitor the area and possibly make improvements like better lighting. And since about 10 minutes before we went on air, Ms. Johnson texted me back and said, uh, multiple district counselors have gotten back to her, including Jamie Fowler. Phil Lakin and Jeannie Q. They're interested in arranging some kind of meetup out there with city representation, Tulsa police, and also those business owners to talk about resolutions, things that business owners can do to mitigate those risks, but also possible resolutions for those homeless people in that area, including getting them some mental health resources. Covering news that matters, John Asibis, Fox 23 News.